My name's Lars aka Northgard with friends and I'm a high elo Northgard player. Welcome to my guide on how to play Raven in team games. Today I want to share my tips and tricks about the new Raven with you. In my opinion Raven is the best clan in Northgard right now which has to be mirrored every single time. The impact the clan has because of its fast scouting and the correlating fast paced game speed makes it a clan that has a lot of synergy with other strong early clans such as Snake or Wolf. Contrary to other clans, Raven is easy to pick up, as your goal is very straightforward. Raven wants to scout the map as fast as possible, as that gives you both fame and lore. As a bonus, the Raven clan has the ability to not only raid enemy or neutral coast tiles, but it can actually control them now, making them a nuisance to play against as you have to adapt to the raids. What makes the clan so broken is not only the ability to scout better than all the other clans, but having a strong early and mid game while doing so. In the past you had to pick Guardian in order to defend yourself, but after the patch the military power of a Raven is nothing to sneeze at. If that wasn't enough you have to adapt to the possibility of getting attacked or rushed at any time, at any moment in the game, once you hit late 800 or 801, as a Raven enables other clans to start attacking. Since the clan tends to lack food, you want to colonize your first tiles with coins instead of food. With Raven it is vital to have two scouts out at all times because this will be your main income of lore. Getting to the lore skill Rangers, which will be your second lore skill, is so important that it is actually worth it to delay taking your runes and shipwrecks in order to get to your lore faster. Ask your teammates to help you with the scouting early on by scouting their second ring of tiles from their base as that will speed up your scouting process greatly. Make sure to communicate that they don't need to finish the scouting and that they can actually delete their scout camp once they finished helping you with the second ring. For the build order our goal will be to get to an upgraded scout camp as fast as possible. Just like with other clans we start with a scout camp and a house. If you are playing against a raven you can actually build the house on your main but you have to make sure that you place your woodcutter on a non-coastal tile. If you need to clear a coast tile yourself, you can build a harbor. Then we build our food building, which must be on a non-coastal tile as well. If you do not have a shipwreck, forest or nastrund, you must build a second woodcutter to ensure having enough wood. After hitting the mining efficiency perk in your lottery, you can already build your stone mine, as you want to upgrade your buildings as fast as possible. Next is building a lighthouse, which will enable you to raid with 5 mercenaries in total. Following is upgrading your scouts, your food building, and your harbor. With this core of upgraded buildings you can start scouting the enemy tiles and you will have a very steady income of resources. Now you can raid enemy food tiles with 6 mercenaries which will cost you 120 coins in total. Make sure to set your harbor with the 6 sailors as a control group so that you can simply hover over the enemy coast tile, press 1 and raid without the camera having to go back to your harbor. Build a second harbor, upgrade it and start building training camps. If you have spare wood it is pleasant to have a silo on your food tile. Next is building a forge, even before mining iron. Usually you have to build an iron mine now, but if you can get another extra 5 iron by raiding an enemy tile that is fine as well. After that we enter the late game. Build another non-coastal food building as well as stone mines to upgrade more of your training camps. Upgrading your training camps will increase the attack power of your warriors greatly, making your army a serious threat. For the upgrade order you actually only need two upgrades which are vital, sailors and warriors. Get the sailors upgrade together with leaf and try to harass the enemy as early as possible with your leaf. Afterwards forge your warriors with the mined and raided iron. As you now know about the build order and the upgrade order as well as the forging order, let us talk about the law order. For the law order your core will be sharp axes and rangers. Rangers will unlock your scouts to scout in super speed without the risk of them getting hurt. Faster scouting means faster lore. Faster lore means faster scaling. The next lore will be mining efficiency to mine the stone faster and exotic goods to unlock the lighthouse and to boost Kunz production of your harbors. As you should have scouted a lot so far picking journeymen will make your clan extremely happy even without any alcohol. Next we go carpentry, as we can upgrade our buildings at a reduced price, saving us the precious stone from stone mines. Afterwards we go gear upgrade to buff our military and recruitment to have a better recovery in case one of our attacks fails. Since we unlocked everything, we now have population, resources and a strong military. The only thing left is killing your enemies. 
If your enemies happen to survive, go into the military path even further by picking fur coats, feeling safe because we upgraded a lot of camps, military strategy and last but not least legendary heroes making our clan a late game beast. As we will have a lot of upgraded training camps it makes a lot of sense to pick legions for our military path as a backup for the late game. To sum things up our main goal with the raven is the scouting. So make sure to get the lore rangers as fast as possible. Since we want to keep scouting the whole game the first winter could get quite rough on food. Make sure to save up on food in October and November. And the November feast would be insane on Raven. Lastly, we always want to start with mining stone to upgrade our scouts as fast as possible. If this build order feels too slow for you, you can try an alternative build order if you want to rush even faster. Tempo Raven sacrifices our late game potential by skipping carpentry and recruitment. Additionally, instead of going legions, you go leadership and you forge mercenaries as that makes your early game chief stronger. So have fun terrorizing other players with this Raven playstyle and don't forget to check out my Twitch for live gameplay as well. The link will be in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching, have a nice day and take care.